Okay, so this is showing you what you need to do for SciTech this week. So when you come into Seesaw, you need to go to your Activities tab and look for this activity, SciTech Week 4, Forces Scavenger Hunt. And then you need to click on Add Response. And that will bring up a document for you to do your work in. So the front page here tells you all of the things that you need to find for your scavenger hunt. So you need to find examples of a push, a pull, a contact force, a non-contact force, forces that change speeds of objects, directions of objects and shapes of objects. Now the hot tip down the bottom here is that some items that you find may fit two or more categories. So you won't necessarily need to go and take seven different photos. You might take one photo that can fit in a few of those. Now each example that you find should include a photo. Um, you need to show those force arrows that you saw in your um, book that you read to show the direction of the force and use the text um, or voiceover tool to label or describe the force. Now down the side here we've got all the categories that you need to find so your job is to see how many of those you can find around your house. And I'm going to give you an example of what it needs to look like. So for example, we have um, we have to find a push force. So I've already found some photos and I've put them on my computer, so I'm going to upload them. You may use the photo tool to take photos on your iPad or your webcam, but I've already got mine, so I'm going to upload them. And here's my example of a push force. So I'm going to pop that in here and use my texture tool to show the direction of the force. So I've got one that way and one that way. And what I'm going to do is add some text to show the type of force that it is and pop it there. Now I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard and Control V and put another one over there, make it a bit smaller. Okay, so I found my example of a push force, but here's what I was saying about one photo that can fit in a few different categories. So over here, I've got I've got to find something where forces change the shape of an object. And that's exactly what happened in that example. So I'm going to add that photo again, pop it in here, and again, put in my arrows. Type in the type of force, it's a push force. And I think if I can go here, I can duplicate it even. Okay, so I've shown the type of force and the direction of the force. What else have I got in my little stash of photos? I know that I have a non-contact force, so I'm going to grab that one and pop it in here. Now, even though I'm touching the sticky tape in this picture up here, the actual force that's going to make it move is gravity, which is a non-contact force. So again, I'm going to grab my um, marker tool. I'm going to show the direction of the force. And I'm going to pop some text in there to explain. Oh, where are you? Um, gravity is pulling the sticky tape towards the ground. And I'm going to make it smaller and bring it across here. So I've labelled it with my arrow, my direction arrow, and I've given it a little bit of text to say what the non-contact force is and that it's the force is a pulling force. Now I can actually use this picture for another one. If I go down to the speed one, I noticed that when I did this, it also changed the speed depending how high I put that stack of books. So I'm going to pop in my direction arrows again. But I'm also going to maybe use a different color to just point this bit out. And just make a little note about how I changed the speed here. So I noticed that the higher I made the ramp, the faster the sticky tape rolled. 
So I've shown how I've changed speed there and I've just made a little bit of a note about how I did that, what I changed to change the speed. But I also need to pop that force in. So this was a pull force. Remember it was gravity pulling that sticky tape towards the ground. So I will put that pull force in as well. I might put it on a bit of an angle to show that direction too. Okay, so there's lots of categories you need to fill in. Um, I'll give you an example of the direction one I did. So, again, to show it with a still photo, because this is moving, and you need to use those arrows to show the movement. So with this one, I pushed or rolled the sticky tape towards the wall. It hit the wall, and then it rolled back to me. So there was a push force in this direction, duplicate that, and then it pushed off the wall, the wall pushed the sticky tape back towards me. So there was two push forces there. So this is how you need to show your examples with those arrows and the labels. And once you've found all the examples, you need to come to the ref reflection page and you can either use a voiceover tool or you can write it down talking about how confident you're feeling about your understanding of forces and what else you'd like to find out about forces now that we've done our first lesson on them. Okay, so looking forward to seeing all the examples that you can find today. I wonder if you can find an example for every category. Um, also know you can put multiple examples in. If you find a few different push forces, you can put a few in there. Um, that's completely fine. Okay, have fun on your scavenger hunt. Bye.